All right, so today's lesson in maths is on quadratics. It is the third type of factorizing that we have started. Today's lesson is on quadratics. And a quadratic expression always has an x squared in it, an x, and more often than not, a number. Uh, an example of a quadratic would be 2x squared plus 5x plus 10. So you've got your x squared, your x, your number. And also 3x squared minus 2x. Now we're missing our number here, but I can clearly write plus 0 here. And I will still have my three terms as a quadratic. Um, one of the key words that we use a lot in quadratics is coefficient. And the coefficient is really important when we come to factorising them. If I have, say, 2x squared, the coefficient of the x squared is 2. If I have 5x, the coefficient of the x is just 5. And so what the keyword coefficient means is it actually means the number in front of either the x squared or the x. Okay, so our first example here today is question 1 or example 1. Factorise x squared plus 5x plus 6. And we're going to follow simple steps. The first step is write out the factors of the last term. So I'm going to just look at number 6 here. And I'm going to write out the factors. Remember, factors are parts. So the parts that make up 6 are 1 and 6. And 2 and 3. And that's actually it. Now, once I've written out these factors, I must have a look. As one of these factors will add to give you the coefficient of the middle term. And remember, coefficient is that number before the x in the middle term, so it's 5. So which one of these, when I use the factors in some way, can give me 5? Well, straight away I can see, well, 2 plus 3. If I added those two factors together, that would give me 5. So I'm going to put a little circle around that, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the factors 2 and 3. Remember, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to work backwards. We're trying to get the two back-to-back -back brackets. So x plus 5x plus 6. I'm now going to draw my two back-to-back -back brackets as is. Now, we then look to the coefficients of the x squared. Okay, and the number I have here in front of the x squared is 1, and so the factors of 1 are just going to be 1 times 1. Okay, so that's quite easy, and I'm going to fill that in now. I'm going to place 1x here and 1x here. I'm then going to fill in the factors that I've found from 6 that will give me 5, and they are 3 and 2. And we're going to do this using um, what we say is a small face and a big face. And the idea here is that we would multiply these two and multiply these two. And if we've done them correctly and input the, same, the correct signs, we should get 5x. Now, I'm going to place a plus here and a plus here. So let's check. Plus 3 times 1x gives me 3x. And plus 1x times 2 gives me 2x. And if they are added together, that will give me 5x. So I know I'm correct. Okay, so example two here today is the x squared minus 10x plus 24, and we're asked to factorise. Immediately I'm spotting that it's got a square, an x, a number, and I know that's a quadratic. So I can nearly draw my back-to-back -back brackets straight away. Now, step one is always to find the factors of the last number. And so the last number, the only number here is 24. And so... I will find the factors of 24, and they are 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, not 5, not 6, and then, or sorry, we have 6, we're back to the beginning. So these are my factor pairs. I then must find the factors of the number in front of the x squared, which in this case is just going to be 1, and the factors are 1 times 1. So I can fill that bit in first of all, so I have a 1x here and a 1x here. And now I must have a look at these and see which ones can I 
which factor pair can I add or subtract that will give me this coefficient here, which is minus 10. Okay, and I can see here straight away that I can have the plus 12 minus 2, that will give me 10. I could also, sorry, that will give me minus 10. And I could also have minus 4 minus 6, that will also give me minus 10. So either of these will work correctly. Um, I'm going to choose this first one here, which is 12 and 2. And I know that I need a minus 12 and a plus 2 to correctly solve this. So let's do my small face. Minus 12 times 1x gives me minus 12x. And my big face, 1x times 2 gives me 2x. And 12x plus 2x gives me minus 10x. So that one is correctly factorised. Again, as I said, another way we could have factorised it. 1x and 1x. And I could have also used 4 and 6. And I would have needed a minus 4 and a minus 6. So let's check that. Minus 4 times 1x gives me minus 4x. And 1 times minus 6 gives me minus 6x, which will also give me minus 10x. So either of these would have been the correct solution for example 2. Okay, so my third example today is to factorise x squared minus x minus 12. And I'll begin, of course, by doing the factors to the last number here, which is 12. And my factors are 1 times 12... 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 4 is there so I know I'm finished. I'm then going to do the factors to the coefficient in front of the x squared which is 1 and I'm left with 1 times 1. So I can now go ahead and fill in a lot of the information already. Uh, place my 1x here and my 1x here and of course that comes from this part here and 1x by 1x gives me x squared. Um, and then I must choose some pair of factors here that when added or subtracted together will give me the coefficient here in the middle number, which is minus x, which essentially is the coefficient there is minus 1. Okay, so from looking at these straight away, well, I can say, well, 3 minus 4 would give me minus 1. And so I can fill that in here. So 3 and minus 4. So when I said 3, what I meant was plus 3. And we can now do our small face and our big face and just ensure that we've done that correctly. So 3 times 1x gives me 3x. And 1x times minus 4 gives me minus 4x. And 3 minus 4x gives me minus 1x, which is indeed the coefficient here. So we've done that perfectly correctly. Okay, so tonight's learning check is two sums, x squared plus 12x plus 27, you're to ask to factorise that, and the second one is x squared plus 11x plus 28, so you can do those into your copy.